Welcome back. You're watching Sunday Express. The main functions of muscles in the human body are movement, supporting the skeleton, protection of internal organs, blood circulation, and heat generation. When muscles waste away or diminish, the human body is unable to perform these tasks. That is what befell baby Nela Zuri at a tender age of six months. Our reporter Terry Jenga tells us how that condition, defined in medical terms as spinal muscular atrophy, changed the life of baby Nela and her family. When a child is born, we expect them to grow strong with time. But what if the contrary occurs? Let me to be a friend. You are my new friend, right? Naila Zuri was born a healthy child on 14th February 2018. However, at six months old, her mother realized something was amiss with her growth rate. A six month baby should be, you know, at least um, strong and they can hold their head, they can, you know, they can, they've grown, like they're not fragile as they used to. And um, at this, at six, at six months, Nila was still floppy and very young and fragile. She just looked like something was wrong. After being diagnosed with pneumonia, baby Nila relapsed during her first birthday. Upon staying in ICU for like a week, I mean, at this period, the doctors have done everything possible to, you know, stabilize the pneumonia. So the doctor got concerned because in this case, she's not getting stable. And I remember I, she was a bit better at some point. I asked the doctor to breastfeed her. So the doctor gave me a go ahead. I went and breastfed her and she coded. She, um, she, it's called coding, like she went flat. So uh, they, they started resuscitating her and all that and she came back. So the doctor got curious. This is not just any pneumonia. He told me that um, my daughter has a condition by the name spinal muscular atrophy. And the nerve is a system that if you don't give it nerve supply, the muscles start dying off because there's no nerve supply. So in other words, the spinal muscle atrophy then result in that junction, what we call a anterior horn cell destruction, and as it gets destroyed, therefore the muscles that are supplied that go to that area start wasting away. One in six thousand bats may exhibit this condition, known as spinomuscular atrophy, and about one in forty people are carriers of SMA gene. The lifespan for children diagnosed with severe SMA is usually two years. I remember what caught me was he said that um, I would advise you to enjoy the days and time you have with your child because you never know. And then I, I, I was like, okay, so does you, do you mean that she's going to die? It's like um, kids with such conditions, they don't get to two years. Baby Naila has, however, withstood these odds and celebrated her fourth birthday. According to Professor Amayo, a consultant neurologist and physician, treatment can help manage pain for a patient, but the condition is incurable. You have occupational therapy, you have the nutrition because the feeding has to be taken care of, you have the psychological support for the baby and the mother, and uh, all these things comes in. Sometimes you also have uh, people like surgery. The most common type of SMA in children is the spinal muscular atrophy type 1. However, one may acquire SMA later in life, though such cases are rare. It can manifest in an adult. It can manifest in an early childhood. It can manifest in a baby that is already just born. But the most common one is those ones who are babies who are, who are just born. Even though treatment has been financially and emotionally draining for Naila's parents, they have not lost hope in her living the best quality of life, doing the best they can for her under the circumstances. Well, I... There are, there are days, I won't lie, there are days where I'll break down and cry, especially when I see other kids running like i live in an estate and every time i get into that door kids will start running mama Naila, mama Naila. and i can't help but think if Naila was 
okay, she will be running. I'm, I'm a person, you know. She will be running towards me the way these other kids are. So there are those days where I, I break down and question and cry and... Their plea to the government is to focus on such rare conditions to enhance access to medical care. Insurances in terms of NHIF, they can maybe increase the markup for us and maybe make it suitable because I, I cannot, if I was to go to the hospital with Naila today, we would live there for the entire period of time. So if they can put up hospitals that they are more of hospice and not hospice at the same time, but it's a care environment where these people can be bringed up in with their families next to them. It will be really amazing for us. Seeing baby Nayla grows each and every day gives her mother hopes, which she is determined that one day she'll live to tell a story, a story of a child. Reporting for KBC Channel 1 from Kajiado County, I'm Terry Njenga.